Yeah. Uh, Dennis Jarrett from Planning Off, talking to uh, Steel Threads in the heart of Shropshire. Beautiful. In the Griffin Inn. Uh, just played the first set. Enjoyed That's that. Right. Yeah. It was good fun, yeah. yeah. It was a bit giggly towards the end. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we like to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, first question for uh, Tracy. Um, how did you join the band? How? Yeah, how. Um, Not why, how. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's the why, we yeah, don't yeah. know. <laughs> Neil phoned me up and asked me was he interested in doing a gig with him, uh, so I said yeah, and then uh, I pretty much carried on gigging yeah. with Neil, yeah. Steve Rhodes. Right, yeah, it'll be one of your senior as a, as a duo, not yeah. the three pieces, but much it does sound like that. Yeah, yeah I mean, we were obviously very proud of what we achieved yeah. as the two of us, but it does yeah. add some yeah. bottoming, glues it all together. So it's a, it's a thorn between two roses, not a rose between two thorns. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah like that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, new album, The Rule of Three. Hmm. Is that tank based on the on the lineup now, or just? Uh, That's an element of it. Yeah. But Laura will definitely be able to explain the uh, the more sort of significant meaning of it. Yeah. There's several reasons, really. This, now there's three of us. It's our third album, so there's lots of things to do with three there, but. I've also been getting a lot more into Wicca recently and the threefold law which basically means that anything you put out there comes back to you three times. Right. So the rule of three, I, I sort of like that and there's lots of many things. So it's just trying to make yeah. us be nice to yes, so you're nice back by to you. Right, yeah. Then you're nice to me three times. Back, you might travel 50 miles to come and see you. Exactly. exactly. Back to your home town. Or you, you know, you, this, is, this is home. This is Bruce Murphy, can you play that in the second half? I'll try. Dedication. What, Roy Castle? Castle. Yeah. <laughs> Roy Castle. <laughs> Medication's what you need. Medication's, Medication's what we yeah, need. Medication's <laughs> what we need. Medication's what we need. And a G-string. And a G-string. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Well, we played last night. Yeah. And obviously, as I'm sure most people will appreciate, night gigs tend to end later, drunk over. Yeah. And it ends up... And the crowd as well. So, and the, yeah. 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 <laughs> and then Sunday afternoon, they want us to do it again. It's, yeah. <laughs> Here we are. This is what, the like third or fourth time in Old Street, is it? It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've built up a nice little yeah. following in here. We started by doing a uh, gig fest. A guy called Keith Reynolds. That's right, yeah. Gig fest. Yeah. This is one of the venues, the vaults down the road as well. Uh, and we just sort of we ended up staying here, didn't we? That was the thing. We, part of the deal was yeah. the accommodation. Yeah. We played in the pub. People like what we do, so. Yeah. It's a bit strange we come back here today after so long. And it's a, the last time I was there, I used to play pool for them. Oh, oh, right. they, uh, oh I, he said you're barred, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't that bad. I didn't, I didn't drink enough, that's why I'm barred. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, right, you're obviously a hard touring band. Mm. I was going to ask you about um, the songwriting for the new album. Is that really done on the road, or do you ever get a chance to rehearse? Three we've, we've probably rehearsed more as this lineup than, than ever before, but even then, rehearsal tends to be. We give a sketchy pad demo type idea to Tracy, she works on it a bit, she comes to Laura's house, we play it twice, we record it, we go out and play gigs. <laughs> and that's yeah, yeah. that's rehearsal. That's, that's rehearsal all of it. So you find you can get her coated now, do you? Oh, all the time. <laughs> no, no, we, we but find I do way enjoy around it. it. Neil gets two votes. We right, get one so vote each yeah. and he gets two votes. That's brilliant. So, so thought that of that? Did I think of that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he can't before. actually be outvoted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's, that's <laughs> the beauty of it. The black eyes won't do it. It's not that amazing. It's not that amazing. Swelling around the lips and stuff. But, uh, yeah, yeah. We won't mention that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the next sort of question you know, you've asked in the first set, I was going to say, uh, last time I spoke to you, you said you were trying to you know, uh, keep the covers out and keep it more original. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's still working that way, so you put a sort of few in there. Yeah, it has been. I mean, more because it's a Sunday afternoon. More laid back. It's, it's a bit more of the, yeah. the more yeah. laid back songs tend to be the covers, to be honest now. But yeah, we're very proud of that. For the last, um, I'd say easily, what, three months? Mm. Well, three or four months anyway. Tracy joined in February. So two months to sort of get tighter again. And then since that time, it's been predominantly original. Yeah. Uh, the covers we play, because uh, we like playing them, because we sound playing them rather than yeah. trying to please the crowd kind of covers, you know what I mean? But it's been good, but let's say back to that songwriting thing, the, some of the songs are older, like like with the second album for those who are left, some of them were already written and uh, they've sort of come back and I've realised a weird thing, 10, 12 years ago I wrote some songs and they didn't really fit with what I was into and now they do, right. so they're, they're coming back and so it sort of sounds a bit lazy, I don't know, 
some of the songs were already done. But Come and Grow and Goes Around. Yeah, they've really? just had a chance yeah. to live. Yeah. And these have put a bit of life into yeah. it, so it's good. Right, yeah. a bit of life into you. Yeah. I need it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does that T-shirt spread to 66 mean that was the year you were born, was it? <laughs> no, no, that's uh, should have 56. It, yeah. 56, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah no, I, I have the spirit of a 60-year-old, 66-year-old, but the... Um, the body the, of a 65-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the mind of a 86-year-old. Right, yeah. What we do? Yeah. Where are we? I was trying to avoid asking rock stars the real age, but I mean, I could ask you the real age. Absolutely, but, uh, yeah. 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 I've asked one or two and uh, <laughs> got like, a bit of a, one of them looks. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Sort of do that with their eyes. Yeah. Make them if they can move them, you know, with yeah. Botox or so. Uh, <laughs> 24. 24? Yeah. Uh, right. Later on, another question uh, already, aren't you? Um, Battle of Bounds, yeah, no, yeah, I should speak to you before, you know, yeah. 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 Battle of Bounds final later on tonight. Yeah. yeah. How many rides have you had to sort of, uh, sort of skim, skim through to... Well, we, <laughs> we, we were supposed to challenge yeah. in three of them, but at one of the heats, there were four bands turned up and all four got through. Right, there you go. So that's, yeah. that's how I was yeah. Is that like a regional <laughs> thing or is that in, in Mansfield? It's, it's, it's in Mansfield, yeah, right, yeah. it's just the yeah. Yeah. venues running. The Diamond. The diamond. Yeah, it's a good little yeah, venue. Very well, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's not the chairman, isn't it? Oh, oh. Yeah, I know, yeah. Another one by yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another joke by Another, another, another right, beauty. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, we did it last year. We did it last year purely because it weren't far off us just being a, a duo. So it was a good opportunity to see if just the two of us worked on a bigger stage, a bigger PA, and, and, and hopefully a bigger crowd. And an extra member. Yeah, and then yeah. obviously this year, yeah. Trace has come in, it, it makes sense to just do them. Because they're almost like rehearsals, really. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's a bit scary for me, because obviously everyone else in the other bands are all about 16, 17. Yeah. And doing the gigs for the first time, they're all excited, and yeah. they see this, they say, who have you come to pick up? Yeah. Is your son playing? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing, you know. We yeah. came second last year, though, so we're in it to win it yeah. this time. And they've got a drum kit as well. It's going to be dinner. A bit stung, isn't it? <laughs> it wasn't that much, was it? Yeah. No. Sorry, just talk amongst yourself. Yeah. So if you win, I, I should say win, yeah. Yeah. when you win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you get from that then? Well, <laughs> yeah. we don't really know. Yeah. Last, year, said, right. last year's yeah. was very well um, executed in the, in the sense that it said all the way through thousand pounds up for grabs, small printers, five hundred pounds to make some split between the top three bands, yeah. which is fair. This year, there's been a very, very reluctance to put any sort of figure. Right. So, if it's going off like mystery prize, mystery prize, it's a mystery prize, yeah. yeah. Tw tw <laughs> Speed dogs, <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> twelve <Gamble>. pounds, twelve <laughs> pounds cash, and a, and a scooter. Like the key from being unclamped outside. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you the combination for the car park to get out. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. Yes. <laughs> we don't know. Nothing like some free recording time or no. No. in the Bahamas. No. Okay. No. Yeah. Love and respect of our peers. Look at the CV though, wasn't it? You know, Captain Bands, finalist. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 If you want to uh, recruit a fourth member, to oh, yeah. Yeah, get back. Um, I don't know for these. No, no, yeah. yeah three's enough. Three's a crime. It does sound a lot better than three pieces. It does, yeah. it does. Yeah. If we got a fourth member anyway, we'd have to change the title of the album. Yeah, that would be Oh, right, yeah. That's good. The whole thing would just be completely wrong. May the fourth be with you. Yeah, that one. Is it? He's good, isn't he? I know, I've had ten I've had some sleep for a change. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Last question. I've asked these before in Scotland, but I'll ask them again. So, we've done properly today. Right. Going left to right, who's your major influence as a young man? Yeah. Musical. Musical, yeah. <laughs> 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 what guitar sort of focus did you first hear? So I want to do that instead of getting a proper job. Okay. Yeah. Well, being from a rock background, my first influence was Bond, because I'm a drummer originally. Right. I sort of get by with a singing guitar and that. But, so Neil Peart, John Bonham, they were all people I wanted to sort of emulate. That obviously got me into them, them bands, and I listened to uh, Metallica and all that sort of stuff all through my teens and into my twenties. And then I probably found the person that changed me regarding songs, which was Neil Finn, Crowded House, yep. uh, uh, Michael Stipe of R.E.M. Sort of more crafted songs, more acoustic-y, 
bass songs, letting the melody work, because obviously, you know, as good as metal is, it's right. the power that makes that work. Yeah. Uh, and with these sort of songs, I, I was interested in how to get the best out of the melody and the chord progression and that. So I'd say, I'd say Neil Flynn. Like say, you know, so you'd rather play acoustic than electric or? Uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah just because I'm rubbish at electric guitar. Right, yeah. <laughs> Laura, you're a main influence? Um, it's a difficult one, this, because Neil always tells everybody that the Spice Girls are my main influence, which right, they aren't yeah. really. Yeah. That's not true. Not I did, I did used to really like the Spice Girls when I was a kid, but you know, they were marketed at kids my age, so I, I can be forgiven. But I think. Violin playing wise, it's got to be Vanessa May was a big one for me. Yeah. I, went, I went to see her live and really idolised her because, just because she was so young and what she could do for her age was just amazing. But there was another one that was Ed Allen Johnson who played with New, New and Alarming Violin Player and uh, he did a, an album called Purple Electric Violin and my dad gave me that on tape when I was about six before I even had any inclination of playing violin and that the amount that he can do with just one one instrument, just him on his own, he uses loops, but it's the layers that he put together that really I try and emulate. Yeah. <laughs> I pinched my word again, yeah, you pinched word. the maelstrom, yes. Good word. <laughs> I can only emulate it. Yes. You can get the word emulate into your answer. Oh, yeah. All right. Running out of words. <laughs> well, Tracy, your main influences in yeah. your play? Um, it's really, really hard to say because I don't think there's anything that doesn't influence me, but when I was growing up, I found myself listening to a lot of rock and roll and sort of early 80s stuff that my brother was in. The rock and roll really was stuff like, you know, the Beatles, yep. um, Eddie Cochran, uh, all yep. from the 50s, 60s time, because my dad had all the history of rock records. Right. Um, so anything like that has definitely uh, played a big part in definitely the way I play guitar and bass anyway. Um, so I'm very blues influenced, but I like everything. I like Pink Floyd. There's a guy called Scott Matthews who's from the Midlands area. He's been going a long time now. Uh, he's acoustic singer songwriter. And I got into him a lot, maybe about eight years ago when he first started doing well. And he was a big influence in my um, picking the instruments back up, really, because I'd had a break from it. And right. So, really, he influenced me to sort of upstart it all again. And as for violin, I mean, I, I learned as a child, so, uh, you know, I, I learned the normal sort of stuff. Right, so you play guitar as well then? Yeah. Do you know this? Yeah, yeah she keeps yeah. threatening it. Yeah. Yeah. From there. Keep her. That's why I hide it. Keep your. Uh, keeps on my toes. Keep chops in. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's, yeah. You haven't brought a spare G string then, no? For, yeah, well. Not, not for a long time. Mine and half chain. Mine and string's <laughs> quite thick. And you'll have to boil it up first. <laughs> Family show. Wow, exactly, yeah. 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 Well, I'm not, I'm not on that note. <laughs> sure. Right, one more question then. Uh, right, even though you've got quite a young band, you know, Thank formation. You. Yeah, so we've been together for four years. Any yes. sort of spinal tap moments apart from the <laughs> dented van over there? That's, that's it's great. That was, uh, yeah. please, please get that on. That's, for evidence more yeah, than anything, put it on, yeah, it, put it, on the, yeah. it, it wasn't me that did yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. I was at uh, for insurance reasons as well. For insurance reasons, <laughs> you can say I've not made this up. I was at a, I was yeah. at a well-known uh, fast food restaurant, which we're not allowed to name. Uh, but all I can say is the person, <laughs> the person behind me must have been in a McCurry because um, she, uh, sorry, they came all the way around and drove into me while I was waiting for my uh, yeah. coffee. Yeah. So yeah, that, that, apart from that, nothing else has happened today. Well, <laughs> well we, we do Yet. find that we have played a few gigs, haven't we, where there might as well be a sign saying puppet show. <laughs> Seal Threads and Puppet Show. Seal Threads Puppet Show, show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you mean the, the supported the by free food. Right, yeah. Supported yeah. by yeah. pirates. <laughs> supported by pirates. We've, uh, we've, we've opened for the meat raffle. We <laughs> 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 were a let, we were a let down, were they weren't as good as we thought. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you know the stakes were high that day. So. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were a good day. <laughs> 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 oh, this is this is this is this is, cuts this is where we're this is stop stop. I know, yeah, I know. It's getting yeah. a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> the space for a bun, you'll feel it, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wrap it up then. Yeah. Come on. Time for the second step. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank and you. this evening from uh, myself, Marcy, and all the Planet Mosh. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers.